Welcome to Cloudos. And it's Halloween. Pumpkin time. Ghosts. Crazy witches. And spider. I have to confess something. I'm afraid of spiders. I wish there will be a pink spider. And you know what I found out? It really exists. A pink crab spider. Tomisus onostus. I bought this head in the internet. I thought it so cute with some cheeks and little horns. But I thought it was not enough. So I printed more two horns for her. Big ones. Like this. Now I'm gonna paint the head and the horns in black acryl. I'm gonna use this 100% acryl yarn to make the wig. I'm gonna make some braids for her into different sizes. And with my flat iron, they look like this. I'm gonna start gluing them directly in the middle of the hair. And with the yarn that I made it, I will glue it also in the head. With the help of a toothbrush, pink one, and some water, I will roll it, the hair, around the big horns. And with a lot of patience, of course. And the help of the amazing hot glue. I will continue the same thing with the other horn until they are both completely covered. With this cotton ball and with a pin, I'm going to glue them in the back side of the head and then I will roll the rest of the yarn around it. The rest of the hair I will do it when I finish the face, because I don't want to ruin it. For the face, I give it three layers of Mr. Super Clear, always using the mask. Let it dry for 30 minutes and with my soft pastels and my watercolor pencils I will start sketching and build the face of my spider. Don't forget the ears also. I want to blush the little horns in black. And with the light brown, I start sketching the eyeliner. Now with the black pencil watercolor, I start the eye line really carefully. Mm -hmm. 
and slowly I'm going to build her face. I start giving her the eyeshadow. I'm sketching her with my pink watercolor pencil. And with the soft pastels, I mark where I want the high browns and the watercolor pencil, I'll give her small hairs. I start with the gray and then I go with the black. I start sketching the eyelashes. And I will keep on with the same process in each layer of Mr. Super Clear. Now I'm coming with my pearl pink acryl paint and give you more glamour to the eyeshadow. I want to give her some texture to her face. I will do it with my pink acryl and a wet brush. I give her some veins in the ears. Now I'm drawing the lashes under the eye. With some black acryl, I give the opacity to the eyeliner and to the lashes that I wanted. I already put the eyes inside. I didn't show it because I think it's creepy. I think it's creepy. But basically it's just making the head soft, the vinyl, and then pop in the eyes inside. I'm using human eyelashes for her and now I finish the face with glossy in her lips and in the eyeline. For the body, I'm going to use my acryl skin color that I mix with water. And I will give her five layers, let it dry between the layers to cover up the green of the body.
when it dry, I give it two layers of my mouth varnish. And then in the end, I spray her with Mr. Super Clear. I give her the blushing with the same colors that I use in her face and I'm gonna paint her nails with my pink acryl. For the clubs, I'm gonna use my model. I don't wanna scratch her body. I'm gonna use this fake black leather and I'm gonna cut and sew it directly on the model body. I sketch where I want the top of it. It's a corpet slash skirt. And now I'm going to cut the end of the skirt to give it more details. For the underskirt, I use this pink lace that I'm going to gather and I will just close it with a snap button. It's really simple, nothing special. And I'm gonna use the same letter for her boots. I'm gonna left extra fabric in the end so I can glue it directly in the shoe base. And of course I have to give her underwear. I'm gonna sew the boot directly on her leg, starting from the foot up away to the knee. I printed this base shoe that I found it in the internet from Enchantarium. Thanks Enchantarium! I'll put the link below in the description box. I'm gonna glue it directly to the foot of the doll and then the boot directly to the base of the shoe. I will cut it the excess and then we'll finish with this black lace in the back side that I'm gonna glue it. In the end I decided to take the roses out and use these rhinestones. I think it's more appropriate for a spider. I don't know. Let me know, guys, what do you think? That I should leave the roses? Should I use the crystals or should I use both? I don't know, give me your opinion in the comments. I love to hear your comments. You're very, very, very sweet. I wanna thank everyone for the support that you've given me in my channel. And now I'm gonna make a big spider for her. Look, with some felt, with some wire and beads. I made her and now it's time to dress her up the boots are ready 
I put in the skirt and the corpet slash skirt. And I'm gonna attach the amazing spider that I made for her. And it's time to put the head back on. I'm gonna finish her hair. Do you remember the braids that I made it for her? Now it's time to use it. I'm gonna sew them around the horns and around the head. And I'll finish the hair with two little spiders that I printed also in my 3D printer and with the same crystals that I use on the boots. With my hair straightener, I'm gonna give her some little baby curly hair. I make my metal stock warm and then I just go around it with the yarn and it's easy. And you cut the end of it. I'm gonna give her some gloves also with the leather that I'm gonna sew it directly on the arms. What you gonna do in the Halloween, guys? Let me know. I think I'm gonna stay on my dolls. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna finish the dress with the same rhinestones. and with the satin ribbon in the back side. I have to be honest with you, there was a time on this process that I thought that it was not gonna work because it's the first time I'm using a different head but I keep going on and now I'm really happy because she looks really cute. Just trust the process, trust yourself is the most important thing. And what is the spider without a spider web? Yes, I'm going to use this black wires and a black bean and I'm going to pretend that coming out of her hand the spider web, like the Spider-Man, you know? I think it's really cool. And with this, my crystal spider is ready. I hope you like her, guys. I love her. I think she's really, really, really cute. She's available on my Etsy shop. I'm gonna put the link on the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Help me to grow up. I'm sure you don't wanna lose the next video. Like it, comment, and share it. Share it is caring. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Happy Halloween!